Hello, I'm Bruce Hillman, Editor-in-Chief of the JECR. For a couple of years now, I've been choosing one article in each issue for CME credit. Many of your colleagues have been using this interesting and often entertaining way of obtaining CME credit. Now for the first time, JECR will be offering SAM credit. Our first SAM offering will be related to health insurance, three articles that I've chosen from the recent special issue, December 2012, on health insurance, edited by Saurabh Job and Tom Baker from the University of Pennsylvania. The special issue could not have come at a better time. What with the upholding of the Affordable Health Care Act by the Supreme Court and the re-election of President Obama, it is certain that this law will be implemented. Taking this SAMS program will allow you to understand much better the intricacies of health insurance, its purposes, objectives, and problems. To pique your interest and hopefully to convince you that you should participate in this SAM, I want to ask Dr. Ja, one of the editors, a few questions. Dr. Ja, first of all, what are the key principles of health insurance that every radiologist should know? The key principles of health insurance that radiologists or any physician should understand really revolve around understanding why free markets may not work best for healthcare and health insurance. Now, I hasten to add that I am actually a proponent of free markets. I think they've done a great deal of good for social welfare. However, there are certain scenarios where competition need not or does not necessarily lead to improved outcomes. And health insurance is one of them. Why? To understand that, one must visit George Akerlof's paper that won him the Nobel Prize. He hypothesized that in a used car market where there is asymmetric information, not imperfect information, but asymmetric, in a sense that sellers knew the quality of the cars, the buyers did not. So the sellers were more likely to um, dispose of cars that were of lower quality relative to the price offered by the buyers. And so the market would progressively be enriched by lower quality cars. Taking that example of health care, health insurance, the health insurance market, if left unfettered, risks being enriched by people who are most likely to buy insurance, who are most likely to need insurance, and therefore the um, sicker people, the, the, those with pre-existing conditions. And the healthier people would be more likely to exit the markets because the insurance companies, knowing the tendency of people to do that, would be likely to raise the premiums in order to counteract that. So we have two scenarios that are perfectly rational responses to the asymmetric information, the um, uh, denial of pre-existing condition and the um, uh, exclusionary waivers by insurance companies and the tendency to purchase insurance by people only when they most need it. The second uh, paper, the second principle, uh, was expounded by um, Kenneth Arrows. Um, and that really revolves around one key word, uncertainty. There's a lot of uncertainty in healthcare. Uncertainty when one actually needs the healthcare. Uncertainty how much is needed. Uncertainty of the quality of the product. And to compound that uncertainty, there is a fact that in healthcare, the principal agent relationship or the agent relationship between the patient and the physician is, for want of a better word, contaminated by the fact that the agent it's himself or herself is the supplier. So there is a real risk of misalignment of incentives over here.